I am Rig, son of the High King Hargurorf, and this is my saga. It all began one fateful day. Alright, what is up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Irmasa, and welcome to Northgard. Alright, so this isn't your usual programming, and I thought... To hell with it, it's 2021, so happy new years. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I thought I'd try something a little, little bit different. Northgard is a strategy game based on North on Norse mythology, in which you control a clan of Vikings vying for control of a mysterious newfound continent. Came out in 2018. So that's not that long ago, but long enough to be so. Um, right now it's $15, it's got 60% off. And uh, it's got a few DLCs for it. I haven't purchased them yet, but it's pretty cool. Build settlements. Assign Vikings to various roles, manage resources, expand and discover territory, achieve different vi victory conditions through conquest, fame, law, and trading. Play against your friends. It does have a multiplayer, so you have a group of friends, give it a go. <laughs> And enjoy dedicated servers and grind the ranks to reach the final Norse God rank. Some of the artwork in this is just fantastic. Like, it all looks amazing. So, yeah. If you're interested in this game, give it a go. <laughs> it's pretty alright. But yeah, I'm gonna go through the first mission with all of you. Just so that we can experience it together. I have gotten all the way up to chapter 6 <laughs> in the first act. But some of the parts are really difficult, even on the easiest settings. So. Without further ado, I'll let this run through, and I'll be right back. I am Rig, son of the High King Hargurorf, and this is my saga. It all began one fateful day. My father had gathered all his yards to make an announcement of the utmost importance. We were to embark for the wondrous lands of Northgard. Riches, conquest, and glory awaited us on this mysterious new continent. But the Norns had other plans for us. Dozens of armed men suddenly poured into the hall and put an abrupt end to our ambitions and to our lives. They were mercenaries led by a man named Hagen from the Clan of the Raven. In a matter of minutes, we were all slaughtered like sheep. All but me, barely conscious and vastly outnumbered. I had no way to fight back, so I feigned death. I seethed as he stole the map of Northgard and ripped the regal horn from my father's throne, a family heirloom and the very symbol of our royalty. I had to avenge my father and reclaim my kinghood. I had no strength left when I encountered a group of runaways of the Stag clan, led by a proud young man named Bram. Hagen's men had set his town aflame, and he had nothing left 
not even his father, the clan's Jarl, who had died at the hands of the fiend, just like mine. Our common enemy had sailed for Northgard, over which he now had a map. All I could think about was finding him to avenge my father and retrieve the regal horn. Alrighty, and with that, I think we can go over here and play the first chapter. Exodus. We have s s safely uh, escaped to a remote region. We must now reach the shores of Northgard. So yeah, pretty cool though. <laughs> Glad to see you back on your feet, my lord. I'm surprised at how f fast you recovered. I suppose a, I suppose Rage is an excellent healer. Still, we've wasted enough time already. We must go after Hagen as soon as possible. Indeed, time is of the essence. Our, our camp is f far f from the enemy, but we are marooned in an unknown province on the outskirts of your kingdom. I shall prove myself worthy of the trust, however impatient I am. To get even with that scum, my priority is to ensure their survival. Very good. Your restraint does your honor. Besides, none of us will get will be getting revenge if we starve to death first. Speaking of which. There will be no shortage of mouths to feed, so let us seek out food. Wood, uh, wood is also a vital resource being used for both heating and construction. We must also leave this continent and set sail for Northgard. We shall need proper short to get out to sea. You are quite right. I suggest you instruct the villagers to build a scout camp and assign and assign them as scouts as, so that we may explore the region. All right, getting started. You are safe in a remote area. Your goal is to meet the basic survival needs of your clan: food, wood, and houses. Be sure to uh, assign scouts. All right, cool. Um, all right, to build. Where is it? Scout camp. Were you here? And then need a woodcutter's lodge and a house. By then we should have a new villager ready to go. From what I've played, you, you always want at least one or two villagers running around doing nothing at all. That that way they can collect berries and sticks and things from the area. 
Um, I will sign a second scout though. And have the areas unlock faster. And I'll have a second woodcutter. Um, healer's hearts full of scald. Assign your villagers to become scalds who will increase your clan's happiness and fame. Or do I do a training camp? Ah! Mm. One thing is, is that you can't really have too many um, buildings in the one area. So you have to keep colonizing other zones by using food or um, crone, which is the cache. But from here we can build a field for food and a storage. Now, do I have anyone that's not doing anything? Get over here. And you can build that. Clan's happiness will increase. The snow is a few, a few minutes away, but that's all good. Um, native one population. Current happiness plus three. You want more people, or you want what? <laughs> Hello. Uh, Constant reconnaissance of the area has revealed it. an abandoned, an abandoned call it, um, cottage. Perhaps we should search it for resources. We'll have to colonize that area before we can explore the ruins. However, okay. Do we have food to spare? Yes, I do. Uh, get you there, and get you on here. By then we should have a new one? Yes. Oh. The granary is always a good thing to have because when the snow comes, your f food consumption and timber consumption just goes through the roof. Oh, that's alright. Um... Area defend by enemies. Place a training camp. No, right. training camp. Yep. Once we get some more villagers, we can villager. There you go. Get over here and build. Scouts are still going. We got elk and we got wolves. Okay. And another abandoned cottage. Okay, let's claim you. And I can't claim you because you're 120, and so are you. Alright. Let's get that out in a minute. Actually, can I do it now? Come back here and have a look. Oh, great, a wolf's den. I forgot that was there. You can take these out and secure the area, otherwise the wolves will just keep coming and coming and coming and coming. But yeah, it's all good. Alright, um... New areas... Is defended by enemies. Warriors, yeah. Alright, so if I grab you and you... Put you two on there. I can have my warriors go and fight a wolf. Cool. 
And then we can colonize this. And once we get the food back up, we can colonize that one too. Is he still sc sc scouting that? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so what can I build here? It's all Hunter's Lodge. There you go. Uh, get you to come up here and build that. Have my warriors return and get a healer's house. There. Where's the other guy? Go. Food. I'll put another granary up here too, so we can just store all the meat <laughs> and whatever. Um, building that much longer. Not enough space to increase your population. You must build more houses. Oh, okay. Easy peasy. Food is at plus six. Oh, here we go. Hmm. The air's getting colder. Winter is almost upon us. Indeed, my lord, we should expect food to be scarce and our people will consume more f firewood to heat their homes. Our military and troops will, will, will also be weakened in the cold. You know, might, it might not be the best time to fight. Yeah. Scout hurt. My lord, one of our scouts claims to have found a suitable coast for the construction of the port. Excellent. We should colonize the area leading up to the shore so that our buildings can. our builders can reach it and get to work. Very well. Now that house is done. Yeah, there you go. And happiness is plus four. Still doesn't like the population though. What is up with that? As soon as we get a second one though, we'll send him out to be a healer. I can't build any more homes. Can I turn that down? No. Need yeah. to be a healer. Yes. See how the food's gone down to negative two every year. Wood's still going up though, so it's handy as hell. You need to heal this guy. You don't have any clan members working here? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, do I have to summon? Oh, no. It's automatic. 
Yeah, so if your guys are anywhere within your territory, the healer can reach them through magic voodoo. <laughs> That's alright. Alright, so they're all good. I have a second one of you running around. Uh, food's still going down though. I need someone to build that granary. Build a longship. Oh god, there's a third house up here. I think one of the special contingents was you have to explore all the houses on the first level. Alright, so since the majority of the islands scattered out, I can send my scouts home and get them doing some stuff. Food is up to plus four now. Huh. Alright then. Um, how many troops can I have through here? Size by two, yeah. Alright. Um, da 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 da. Or skull. Under attack. I oh, hope. Oh god. You don't always need um, your warriors running around, your people kind of defend themselves half the time. But I'll take out this nest. Now we colonize the area, which destroys the nest, or at least the den. Colonized and crushed. Beautiful. Alright. Oh, uh, I need a scout to... Yeah, oh. Holy crap, food's up to plus 25. Wow. I haven't... Ever really seen it go that high before? <laughs> right, need at least one scout. How much is that 200 food to get that? Right. Wait for a second. Oh. This game is like you micromanage pretty much everything, but um, it, most of the time you're just waiting around for a um, food to gather or Tim to gather. So I need a new warrior. Yeah. So I'll send them over here. Get them trained up, it's like my war band, get them to gather, I don't know, somewhere, here. I have enough food, so that's cool. Uh, corners, and I'll get my scout to come out. Food is going to be required. 250. That's pro probably going to be about 300. But oh, that's alright. We can. Yeah. Let's 
See what they get out of it. Um, there's a wolf over here. My scouts can't go that way because it's deep water. Nice. Don't know what I'm going to chuck up here, but... Um, let's build all of Skald. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm saying that right, so sorry if I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Finish scouting that and should be good. Scouts found wool riches in the damaged house with 100 timber and 100 crown. Crown. Cool. <laughs> um, so I've got two healers. Two hunters, two farmers, two woodcutters, one scout, that's fine, villagers. How far, far along is this? 60%. Sweet! So how much is this place? 300? 330. Okay. <laughs> Send you up here. In preparation. And once this is done, I can have two villagers on here making everyone happy. Oh, is it done? I don't know what Scott's supposed to be, like a town crier or something. Scott. <laughs> okay, that's random. Let's colonize this. And do I have enough for this? 430, okay. So, we'll get this area, have this scouted out. And then we'll pretty much own everything on this ABD map. I think I'll leave capturing this one until after the winter. So we should have enough food. So, unless something else happens, I'll be right back. Or at least, I can jump cut. <laughs> Alright. Winter has come and gone. I've added a couple more troops to the more banner, a few more houses, and started this skeleton for the uh, longboat dock down on the, I don't know, beachhead. <laughs> This is built, this chapter will be end. <laughs> Send you home. So yeah, this is 
the first chapter of Northgard. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and if you'd like to see more of this. And if you're new here feel free to like and subscribe and check out all my other videos. At last, thank you for your efforts. Um, anchors away. Proud Vikings, we sail from Northgard. Your end draws near, Hagen. <laughs> cool. And that's the end of the f first chapter. From here, you travel. Seas to Northgard, where in chapter 2 you hold here, but I'll say that for the next episode if anyone's interested. As always, I hope you've enjoyed. My name has been Iramasa, and this has been Northgard. Have a good one.